So here it is, 2002 Toyota Tundra. Clean title, 43,000 original miles on it. I've never seen another one like it. I wanted to show you first where I park it. This is where it lives. And next I will show you the mileage. Just so you can verify this. And it is authentic. And you will see that in the VIN reports. So it just turned 43,000 miles. And I'll show you the rest of it outside where you can see it better. This is the engine bay. It could be a little cleaner, um, but it's pretty clean. There are no leaks in this truck anywhere. Got the Bosch Platinum Series AGM battery in here. Just purchased that about a year ago, so I think it's got about four more years left on it. About a year ago, I replaced all the fluids with synthetics. That's the rear end, the transmission, the engine, that's the power steering fluid, the brake fluid, and anything else I forgot right now I have receipts for. I'll give you more details when we get outside so that you can see this a little bit better. But if you're looking for impact spots, there are none. Sorry, I'm using a gimbal, so I'm doing the best I can to control this thing. If you can find a Toyota Tundra any year that is in this condition with this mileage on it, send it to me and I will consider matching that price. But I'm pretty sure this is the cleanest low mileage Tundra that you can get for the price that I'm asking. All original body panels. You can see the original stickers here. And here. Underneath, I put some lights down there so that you can see the underside of this truck, which is something that nobody ever shows you when they're trying to sell you an out-of-state truck. Okay, now for my favorite part of the truck. I'm going to do my best to show you the entire underside of this vehicle. I don't have a lift. I'm not a professional mechanic. So if you're looking for a truck like this, and you probably want to know every last detail. So I'm taking my time to try to show you everything I possibly can. Sorry, this gimbal is kicking around a little bit. It's not used to filming upside down. Everything that was done to this truck was done by the dealership up to 30,000 miles. That's when I purchased the truck. I replaced all of the fluids with synthetics at about 35,000 miles. I have records of all of that. This is the original exhaust system. And these are the rails. Get over and show you the other rail. Rear leaf springs, you can see, uh, hopefully you can see there that I've got an add leaf added to this. It really doesn't affect the ride quality. It's still really smooth, smoother than a new truck, but it definitely helps with the towing. It definitely helped the cornering. So it's tighter in the corners now. You can see here there's some paint that is kind of decaying off of the rear end, but there's no actual damage. There's no real rust anywhere. And this is a very, very close-up view that you're seeing. Once again, sorry that this is not perfect, but I'm just scooching around on my back underneath this truck.
There's a tow assembly, factory tow package, works great. I drove it from California to Arkansas with fully loaded at its max capacity with two motorcycles in the back and a full 3,500 pound trailer and it did really well. There's not gonna be any expensive repairs like the new ones. There's not a ridiculous 10-speed transmission like my nervous Ford F-150. That thing can never find a gear. It's always confused about what it's supposed to be doing because it's got 10 gears. This Toyota's got a four-speed transmission. It's right on the money. It's got a good torque curve, so it doesn't have to drop gears all the time. It's just right. Just trying to show you any little underside details that I can. You can see a little bit of mud up here by the gas tank filler. Mounting. All right, let's do a cold start. I bought it two years ago from a elderly man. He was 93 years old. He was the original owner. And he bought it when he was 77. He put 30,000 miles on it in San Diego, California. That's when I picked it up. I was living in Orange County, California. Truck has never been in an accident. Perfectly clean title. There's no rust. It's got a couple of nicks and dings see right here and let's see if i can show you the other side i know it's shaded but there was a small dent right here that's been repaired these are the rims and tires off of a 2019 toyota 4runner they have about 5,000 miles on them I did not armor all the tires. I kind of think that's cheating. You can tell the condition of them. They all look just like that. So this is a one inch oversized rim and tire package. So if it looks like the rims and tires are filling out this truck a little bit better than the stock ones, they are. And that puts the speedometer right at perfect. It's at least within one mile per hour of actual speed. Now you can see in the front here, looks like he pushed a car, put a mark there, and where's the other one? Here, where it looks like he pushed something else with a bumper. I have the original keys, the original fobs, the manuals, the jack, the spare tire. I have all of the headrests that came with the truck. Everything's in really good shape. Go ahead and look at the SR5 package. You'll see what it comes with. A lot of standard equipment and plus some extras that are pretty good, you know, with the fog lights, the front and rear mud guards. It's got the CD player, a tilt wheel, uh, intermittent wipers, cruise control. 
It's got the sliding rear window, the chrome body side moldings and grill, uh, front and rear bumpers that are chrome, fold down center console with the headrest, and that's in the back, and the 4060 rear split bench seat. And it is gonna come with this motorcycle wheel chalk. I'll do my best to show you the interior here. Start with the headliner. I have owned the newer generation Tundra with the 5.7 and the 4x4 with the TRD package. I've owned, right now what I have is a 2019 Ford F-150. And what you're sacrificing is comfort and quietness, smoothness, and just a sense of ease about the truck that I have not found in anything since this generation of Tundra. This truck gets better mileage than my newer Tundra did, even though it had the six-speed transmission. It's got these little Velcro strips that uh, the last gentleman that I purchased this from put there for a Kleenex box. It feels more like a mid-sized truck, but it tows and hauls and has the capacity of a full-size truck. Now people ask me, hey, if the truck's so great, why are you selling it? I have two trucks. I only need one. I have a brand new Ford F-150 sitting outside. It's a $55,000 truck, and there is no way I can sell it because I'm so upside down on that thing. So I'm kind of stuck with that truck right now. All right, let's take it for a drive. AC works well. It works better than my brand new Ford. So as you can see, no blinking light. I can't promise this next thing, but I think it's true and I'm very particular about things and I notice the small details in the vehicles that I own. And I would say that this truck runs and drives like new. Now obviously I don't have a new one to compare it to, but this is the newest one I've ever seen. And it feels to me like it runs and drives like the day it came off of the showroom floor. Okay, temperature is good, so I'll stomp on it and you can see the RPMs. It pulls strong all the way to the high RPMs. There's not a single horsepower that's missing in this truck. The shifts are very smooth. wondering where all the rattles are it doesn't have any it's got one that shows up once in a while behind the dash someplace like a, a creek it's not even a creek it's a I don't know maybe a rattle but let's get on some rougher roads here and see if we can make it go I do hear a really light suspension squeak I'm not sure if you can catch that in the microphone all right, let's do a let's do a pull from a dead stop, just to show you what the off the line is. Oh, I can't. People are behind me. Ten miles an hour. Let's do it from there. The ride is amazing on this truck. It is so smooth. It is solid. 
to me this is the last of the zen low-tech pickup trucks and that's what i really like it is simple it's useful everything works everything's functional and i'm not worried about this thing tracking me or selling or giving away my location all right here we are back in the driveway and all those pulls i did with the ac on So here it is, 2002 Tundra SR5, extra cab, rear wheel drive, 43,000 original miles, 